Zuki, that's right. This is where we welcome Lugia. When the dance we practice many days becomes one with the sound of the title bell we entrusted with you, then Lugia shall come up from deep within the water vol basin once again. I do not remember any of that. That was pretty cool, except for that dance. That really, I mean, I'm a terrible dancer, and I probably could have pulled off walking around and spinning. Is that all it takes to awake a legendary Pokemon? I mean, tch, dude, I could have like 14 by now. That is indeed Lugia, the guardian of these isles from ancient times. So many have tried again and again, only to fail. Scott, your heart in complete harmony with the title bell has finally allowed it to appear. Scott, don't you see? Lugia, it must have been waiting for someone like you all this time. Wouldn't you agree? I guess so. Did we already switch Maggie up front? This might be a little bit of a tough battle, boys. But I believe we can do it. It's weird. I, I say this every time, but it's weird not saving before a fight like this. Let's go. And we still got to surf a little bit over to it. Do we still get the surf theme? I think that would completely mess with the theme. Okay, no, no, sir, theme, that's good. Let's go. Yeah! Here it comes. And your sprite looks so dumb, though! I really like your animation, your overworld sprite, everything else, your sprite just looks really dumb. Maggie, I entrust you with this one. This is some big... Oh, okay. Even though I don't want to be using Thunder? I don't know. I'll Thunder Shock and see how that goes. But I'm going to Thunder Wave you first, that's for sure. And then I'm going... Depending on how much Thunder Shock does, we might get a Super Sonic in here. Let's see how this does. Not, not at all. I might want to put a Thunder in there. How much does Extra Sensory do to us? That's not very effective against Steel types too, even though that does a decent amount of damage. Because then he's got Hydro Pump and he's got Air Blast that does damage. I think that's probably the most effective thing against us. I think we'll put down a Super Sonic then, if he can hit it. Okay! We need to see how much damage this does. Uh, don't do that much. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I'm definitely using something to heal up though, because that... We want to be in very safe situations for this entire fight, because one critical... Maggie's not going to live through that. It's, it's a lot on on edge fight. We just need them to get power hacks a couple of times. Rain dance, keep on. You can keep on using rain dance. I'd be happy with that. Let's see. Huh. I really like that a Nuzlocke challenge makes these legendary fights like actually like scary. Like it's supposed to be like this giant menacing Pokemon of legend that you have to be very very careful with. Nuzlocke just makes everything. A lot more fun. I, I really enjoy it. I mean, I've played so many Pokemon games, that's probably why, and I've been playing it since I was a kid. But, this new challenge is always something that it brings new lifeblood, and that really does not do much. I guess he has a really low attack stat. Okay, can you hit yourself one more time? That'd be great. Take you into the red. Nah. Oh! Power hacks, that works too. Uh, 
I'm gonna take one more Thunder Shock. That seems good to me. Because he'll probably snap out of confusion anyway. And if he does, he still doesn't do that much damage to himself. Yeah, there we go. See, look. It's bear. Okay, it's a little close. Now, if we get this with one ball, Premier Ball. No, we're, we ain't doing this. One ball, Premier Ball. Come on. Do it for me. Oh, not even a shake. Not even having any fun. Snap out of confusion. Thank you. That made me a little bit less scared. Now it's just time to chuck some balls. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I think he's got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. You got... He doesn't have a friend in me. Randy Newman cannot help me out here. I guess we just gotta keep on going. Okay, let's po let's throw a serious ball here. Even though it's no fun to catch him in an ultra ball, you gotta throw one every once in a while to test the waters. Okay, I was gonna be happy that I caught him, but I'd be a little bit upset that I caught him in an ultra ball. And it looks like this might be the deadliest catch part three. Or are we at part four now? We got Suicune, we got Sock, we got... I feel like I'm forgetting someone. Maybe I've just blocked it out of my memory. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh boy, this is gonna be a long one! As long as he stays Parahax, it, it's fine with me. And I love how I was saying before, like, oh yeah, these legendary fights are a lot more intense. And it's like, <laughs> kinda just me chucking balls now. And is it really gonna go this long? Maggie, just take the hit. Thank you. Not very much at all. And let's go back to the fun. Woo! Chucking the ball. Eh? Not even a, Have I gotten, like, one shake so far? And let's see what his last move does. Oh, that hits normally. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ooh, okay. Okay. Shh. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. We need to uh, heal our ass up. So Maggie can take every single hit from him. Which is good. And I can't switch out to anyone else because he's got the best typing and gets all three of those moves. And we've seen his whole moveset now because we got Brain Dance, we got Air Blast, we got Hydro Pump, and we have Extra Sensory. So Maggie's good here. We just need to catch him in a sort of decent amount of time. This is a little bit more deadlier catch because even though he's paralyzed and just sitting there, it's still a little bit dangerous for us. And no, uh, no dice. Because if we can actually lose a Pokemon by making the stall too long. Could you not? Could you just say Parahax and be annoying by not getting caught? Thank you. Please, just let this be over. There's no... Oh my god, this is going to be it. We are going to have some issues with you. What? The Nuzlocke challenge ends here just because I can't catch Lugia. I refuse to throw out the Master Ball and I get completely wrecked. That's how it's going to end. It's all going to end here, boys. One. Oh my god! I'm not even like throwing Pokeballs anymore, it's just straight Ultra Balls now. My god, stop! Not a shake again. Oh my, you're, you're kidding me, right? Great, now we're gonna have to start using Hyper Potions for like 50 HP. This is going to be the most costly fight I've had in this Let's Play so far. I'll probably, if this... I'll probably have a potion counter for this too, because of how ridiculous this is going to be. And more Arrow Blast, I think... Extra Sensory probably is like 20 PP. Air Blast probably is 5. Uh, Hydro Pump definitely is 5. So, the only thing I'm really afraid of here is a uh, Rain Danced Hydro Pump. I think that's the only thing that can probably kill Maggie. One! Oh my god, we've had like four combined shakes and like 20 balls. It's ridiculous. You know, pity me. I'm gonna throw a Premier Ball. Just pity me with a shake. That would make me ecstatic. One shake, that's fine. Not even one. And another potion down the drain. The Ultra Ball supply is whittling. We've got five left, including this one. One. Two! Ugh! I really hate this Lugia. And 15 potions left. Number four. Come on. Not a shake, you're kidding me. This is starting to get a little ridiculous! A little bit! Double, double, coins are in trouble. I hate this guy and I gotta heal more. No, I don't wanna use it on Rooster! <laughs> oh, thank god this is not black and white where you can just like waste items willy nilly. And another one. Oh my god! Get paralyzed more! Please! I can't use three hyper potions in a row! Maggie can't take this! 
And he missed one of his hydro pumps, so that's good. You got three left. And we're out. I mean, wait, why am I saying we're out? I just said we had three left. Thank God he hasn't hit any criticals yet, because that could put me in an odd predicament. And by odd, I mean a Maggie dead predicament. I don't know why that'd be odd. It'd just be very sad. <sighs> Ultra Ball, Ultra Ball, I need you right now. One. Mm. Christ's sake, I'm going to break this computer. The last Ultra Ball, our saving grace. Go, please, drink and be merry. Come on, the last one. And there's no hope for anyone. And Hydro Pump is... Woohoo! Okay, he can survive a, a uh, Rain Dance Hydro Pump, but very, very barely. And I think he's got to be out of Hydro Pumps by now. And nope, he's got another one. Oh, please don't kill him, please don't kill him, please don't kill him. He can survive it, but the numbers change every little bit, so it could be like one or two more damage. Okay, we get, that was probably on the high end of damage, that one that brought us down to six. He's got to be out of Hydro Pump soon enough. I'm, I'm very sure. I'll, I'll look it up right now that... Hydro Pump only has five. How many PP does it actually have? And how does he hit three in a row without getting any Parahax? Uh, uh, oh god, it's scary every single time. Watch, I'm gonna look it up. It's gonna have like 20 PP. Can you just miss miss one or just not just not be here anymore and then I can go check it? He hits one of those. Great. Lord. Okay, the rain stopped at least. Let's go check these PPs. It only has five PP. How the he's hit us with more than five. This game's broken. And extra sensory is 20. So that means. Let's see. So he's got five, 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 and 20. So we have 35 turns before he starts struggling. So, uh. I think I'll use an orange berry right here. It, he can't. I'm he's gotta be out. That was. He missed that Hydro Pump before, and he had to hit one before that. He's got to be out of Hydro Pumps by now. And he's probably out of Air Blast. We haven't seen those in a while. He's got a bunch of extra sensories, though. And he gets that critical, finally. Not enough to kill us, though. My god! Hydro po Hyper Potions, where are you going? More extra sensory! Oh, lord. He he's got to only have extra sensory left by now. I don't want to risk it. I just I want him to get Parax next turn. And then we can, uh, start throwing some more balls and missing them. There we go. Oh, no, this is really not going on. <sighs> Great ball, go, please. Not a shake. What's his catch rate? Really? Like, really? One. No. My. Ridiculous. Please. Please. No. <laughs> At least we're getting shakes now. Uh, another critical. Not enough to kill us, though. Let's see what a little bit of HP means. And that means 24. That was a decent amount. It's probably randomized. Uh, let's see. Christ sakes, catch him! No! Great balls, let's go. One. Two! <laughs> Screw you! Please? Not even. Close. Yeah, it's gotta have a high critical ratio. That's like the fourth one. I think we might run out of Pokeballs. It is getting very close. I'm not, I really don't want to use my Master Ball on him, but I mean, it might come down to that. Oh my. Oh my. No, we have 11 chances left to catch him. Let this be the last one. One, two, three! Catch him, catch him! <laughs> yeah! Best person I ever met! I got him! So I don't know where he ranks in the whole series untitled I hate catching Pokemon ranking. Yes! With one Pokeball left! Yes! Please. Yes! Oh god, if I didn't catch him, I was gonna be extremely. I would be so pissed if we spent all this time, all those hype potions, everything, and it just came down to me either wasting my Master Ball or not catching him. I would have been livid. But thank you, you and your stupid sprite. Lugia, the diving Pokemon. It is said to be the guardian of the seas. It is rumored to have been seen on the night of a storm. 
Thanks, Lugia! Thanks a lot! Man, I need a nickname for this asshole now. Ah. Uh, he needs, a, like, a badass god-ish name, so I'm gonna go with Titus because it seems masculine and manly, even though he has no gender. It seems, like, godlike and its title, so I replaced it with an us. Titus gets a good name. I like it! So we're gonna put Titus in our box, and I probably will use him on the team. I, I just, who would we swap out for Titus? I, I really like Orsinius. I really like those us names. Uh, I do like AA Ron. We do need a tank. We already do have a steel type. Uh, hmm. I don't know. I, I'll do what I've done in all my other Let's Plays. I'll replace him if I need to. He'll be in the same position, position as Locke. Hopefully he doesn't end up with Locke's fate, too. But I don't like using legendaries in my Let's Play, even though they're really cool and everything, and I spent all this time trying to catch them. But uh, I don't like using them because they're, like, really overpowered, and you can usually, like, sweep through the Elite Four if you just train them up a decent amount. And do these Kimono Girls have anything to say to us? Or you've done a great job... You've done us a great job. Say hello to Fress around for us. Do, do they all say the same thing? And you've not only made Lugia appear, but you also caught it. You're so wonderful. There's nothing more for us to say. Take good care of yourself and your journey. You've done a great job. Say hello to Fress around. Is there only the two things they say? And... Oh, I, I need to make them all symmetrical. Ah, oh, nope. There's only one that says a special thing. Now they look all nice, and they're all looking the same direction. So can we get the hell out of here, please? Thank you. Can I use my escape rope? And escape this episode and escape the deadliest catch part three? Ah, Lugia, you put up a good fight, but let's see. I guess well, you guys were always seeing it because I like with the deadliest catch episodes. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I've had trouble with a Suicune and a Sock before. And I usually cut in the sea comparing how awful it's been compared to these other two Pokemon. So you'll probably already have seen those clips and that'll explain them a little bit more and the counter will be down the bottom. So I've been Save Untitled, I hope you enjoyed my own personal hell, and I'll see you guys next time when we head from New Bark Town into Kanto.